So guys, I tried to put on the old chocolate I made. <music> another video I decided to do a banana cake today is Monday a new week is starting and that's why I'm gonna do a banana cake like oh 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 so let me put this camera in a good position and it's so easy and it's so quick so we're gonna do it together I need my paper here Yes, we're gonna do it together and it's so easy. You will see, you can do it as you wish. I will show you everything I need for it. Everything I'm gonna put inside, I'm gonna show you before. It's my fifth time, I think, that I'm doing one. Or the fifth cake. One time I did two. No, two times I did two. So that's why I am... This will be my fifth time or something I can't remember but I've done it and I'm still doing it and I love this cake and it turns out so good every time that I do it so yeah I will show you the ingredients I won't do it like right now you will I will show them every time I put in the ingredients and then and then you will know I'm just preparing right now. <laughs> oh, and this time I'm gonna do like a chocolate thing out ooh, outside. So that's why I bought just some cheap chocolate, white chocolate, you see it? I just bought some cheap chocolate. I'm gonna melt this chocolate. Let me get something like this you just need this and then put in some water like this turn on like this oh my bagels are done so guys i'm gonna melt the chocolate it's really easy first things first open About two because I wasn't sure how much I'm gonna need so yeah I turned on the oven now 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 let's start we're starting with some bananas I'm gonna use two bananas and you have to use some that are like um, turning black those that are turning black are the best ones okay guys so I'm gonna use two Take a fork. So now I'm gonna smash them like this. Do you say smash? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm gonna. Yeah, smash, I think. You see what I'm doing? It's, it's so self explanatory. So, yeah, you see what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna take some sugar and we need 100 grams. Here it says brown sugar but I'm just using some normal sugar, the white one. But if you have the brown one, you can use the brown sugar. 100 grams of this one. So I'm having this stuff, this pot where I can measure everything. Yeah, so I'm gonna measure 100. So 100 grams. It's over here 100 grams sugar and then one of these ones and um, vanilla sugar you see it vanilla sugar one the whole thing then a little bit of salt some salt just a little bit let me show you you don't really need like this then some oil for the oil I'm gonna I'm using this um, sunflower sunflower oil it's the best oil and just a big spoon so guys now we will need one egg so now I'm gonna mix everything and using this hand mixer now I'm 
gonna take some flour and we need 300 grams of flour. I'm gonna measure it again. It says flour and I need 500, uh, 300 grams of flour. Yeah, it's around this amount. You see that? 300 grams of flour. We're gonna mix in one of this uh, baking powder. Just mixing in one of these. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna mix the baking powder with the flour like this and then put it inside. Just like this. So I think the main the main ingredients are inside. Now you can decide what you want to put in for yourself. So I'm going to show you what I am going to put in, put in. But now the main ingredients are in. You can leave it like this, but I would never leave it like this. I will I will always put in so much stuff because I like it. So yeah, we're going to do that. You see how thick this um this thing is it's too thick that's why i always put in some milk or coconut drink or the um, almond drink or something like this because i want it to be a little bit you know um, i don't know the english word but I, I don't want it to be like so thick so that's why i'm gonna put in some of this and mix it again and then start putting in the stuff i want inside so guys now first things first first i'm gonna put in some cocoa nut it's cocoa crustle. it's some coconut um just made like really really small you see it some coconut powder not powder it's not powder it's like really coconut um yeah I'm gonna put in some of this just a little bit like this and I'm not measuring anything I'm just eyeballing everything that I'm putting in I'm gonna put in some hazelnut I'm gonna put in some cranberries I'm gonna put in some um, Zultanian, like you see them. I'm gonna put the name here, what it is, okay? I'm gonna put in some of these. And I'm gonna put in some of these, just a little bit. I'm gonna mix in some of these chocolate chips and you know what I'm gonna put also in some of this one this is a biscuit crunchy biscoff crunchy cream it's a big biscuit cream also put in some of this so now I'm gonna mix it again put in some more of the coconut drink a little bit more of that so guys we are almost finished I'm gonna also mix in some of these berries you see them I'm gonna mix some of this inside but not now before I do that I'm gonna take my phone and I need to put in some butter so the cake can come out really good or the bread it's banana bread so the bread can come out really good and for that I'm gonna use some simple just butter use any butter you have it doesn't even matter and this part is a little bit messy because I'm gonna do it with my hand I'm gonna take some so I'm gonna do it with my hands so this part is messy i don't like this part but i don't have anything to do uh, to yeah i don't have anything so i need to do it by, by hand this so this is how it needs to be 
So I'm gonna show you how I do this part. I washed my berries. Now I'm gonna show you how I do this part. I'm just going to. I'm taking like a big um, spoon. Like this. And then I'm gonna take some of the berries. done I'm gonna put this into the oven so the bread is inside Let me zoom out the bread is inside I'm gonna put this on 180 around 180 and I'm using just a normal one no like um, no air or something like this blah blah I'm just putting in 180 degrees and yeah, the heat is coming from, from the bottom and above, like this. And I'm gonna wait around um, 60 minutes, one hour or one hour 20. And then I'm gonna show you the outcome. And then we're gonna put on, on the top, we're gonna put some of this white chocolate on the top with this stuff here, hazel nut crocant. It's called hazel nut crocant. I'm gonna put some of that on the top. So guys, see you later. So guys, this is the banana bread. It looks so nice, like, wow. Now, so guys, I tried to put on the old chocolate I made. Not old chocolate, but I um, did the same thing what I'm doing right now with the white chocolate. But, um, so it got like really, um, Flüssig. I will put the word here what I mean It got flüssig and then had it sich wieder Festgemacht and that's why I couldn't use it anymore. I tried I put it on here and put the cake Or the bread back into the oven, but it didn't work out. So that's why I'm taking this dark chocolate Yeah, it's dark chocolate And I'm trying the same thing, but now I will pour it directly on the cake after it's like geschmolzen. So guys, this is the finished bread. I need to wait now to, for the chocolate to um, trocknen. So yeah, this is the finished product, finished banana bread. Later I will cut it and show, will show, I will show you inside of the bread how it looks. I'm so excited, like wow, it turned out so good. I love it, I love it. Whoa, I really love it.